Welcome back. Uh, today I want to take a look at these 9 volt batteries that you can tell are shorted. So I have a beef with 9 volt batteries. They have decent voltage but they have no capacity. And I guess that's kind of my fault. I buy dollar store carbon zinc 9 volt batteries but it's for a reason. Apparently you can break into these things and there are like carbon rods or whatever inside. And I figured today we'd uh, take a look at this and see if we can get one out. Let me zoom you a bit closer and we'll get started. Well hopefully this stays in shot but here it goes. Um, I can see the seam here across the end. I also have some metal off to the side in case this goes very badly. Um, these things are discharged. First of all they weren't particularly well charged to start with but um, I have been discharging them over time as well, just to make sure I will be okay. I'm just trying to peel this off here. We'll see what we get on the inside. I'm not sure if we'll have a carbon rod in there. I thought these carbon zinc ones always had the rod, but it looks like this one might be a little bit different. I'm gonna try to open this all the way. If this uh, goes up in smoke, well, oh well. At least uh, I had some fun. Be interesting time to take a look at what's inside too. I'm just being careful with the sharp edges here. Okay. I see the different cells in there. How many cells? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cells. Huh. This bottom here, or the whole case, is actually at the negative potential. That's interesting. The big one being the negative, right? Yeah, big one's the negative. That's interesting. This looks glued together. So I guess we're going to gently go in there and see what we can find. It's quite hard. It's like a resin. That crackling is just the plastic. It's not uh, catching on fire or anything. Huh. So these cells these things don't use carbon rods at all. They use flat pieces of carbon. See that there? So we can break another one off. It is a bit sticky. This is some sort of metallic. This is not carbon. There's the carbon. That would be carbon. So this here is carbon. So this is uh, six. Yeah, see my fingers? This is six cells. That's the carbon, the black. And then this wadding here must be where the electrolyte sits. And then this here would be one of your uh, poles, like one of your um, terminals for that cell. So let's take a look here. 
we can prove this is carbon if we go in the ohm range. Well, actually, I'll put my meter on the other side. Okay, so this will give us nearly no resistance. If we go from one end to the other of this carbon mat, it should be conductive, and yep, about 150 ohms resistance. If I put it closer together, resistance should go down. Oh, well, resistance is up. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, 18 ohms on this side. Interesting. I wonder if it's because the electrolyte is more soaked into one side than the other. Well, I thought we would get some interesting um, carbon um, rods out of these, but I guess not. These are made very different to the cylindrical cells. So, yeah, not too, too interesting. We do have this uh, terminal plate here, which I can use to now connect 9-volt batteries to stuff. There's a metal strip going all the way up there. Interesting. So I'm not sure what to do with these carbon piles. Huh. Well, at least we know what's inside these batteries now. I don't really quite know where to go from here, but as always, thanks for watching.